All right, good morning and good afternoon class. So today we're gonna to do our fried apple pie. So what I'm doing is I'm just gathering some mise en place. This is gonna be some really, a really, really simple recipe that we're gonna do. So I got some white sugar, a little bit of brown sugar in the bowl here. To that I'm going to add some nutmeg and cinnamon and some freshly browned cloves. So here's my nutmeg. Some cinnamon. And then I have some brown clove here. And I'm just going to add that in. Now you got to be careful about this clove because it's really, it can be really strong. Okay. And I'm just going to give this a whisk to uh, get everything incorporated. Now, once that's done, I'm going to set this aside and I'll come back for it in just a moment. Go At this point, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, I'm sorry, I probably should have started, told you all that first, but yep, you want your oven preheated at 350 degrees. So go ahead and do that. Of course, always, always, always wash your hands before cooking. And today I'm going to be using one of my uh, KitchenAid attachments. So this is my KitchenAid peeler attachment, which I'm going to be using today. And I want to show you all how that works, okay? So I plug it into the top of the KitchenAid, I put the peeler attachment on, which is this piece right here, and then I want to pop an apple right there. And I want to do two apples. Rinse, go ahead and rinse your apple off, make sure it's nice and dry. Okay. Rinse it off, wipe it down. We want it to stick our apple right here at the end. Okay. Then we're going to turn our KitchenAid on low. Sorry. I'm going to move this slightly down and what's going to happen is it's going to peel our apple for us. Okay? Now if you don't have this uh, lovely attachment, 
you can um, just peel your apple by hand. And there we have it. Now you will have to go in and trim up the top a little bit. But other than that, we're good. So I'll pause here and be right back. 